war in Ukraine is reaching a dangerous point as Russia is bracing with deployment of nukes. On the other hand, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Australia has deepened India-Australia strategic alignment and US has a new contender in the presidential race to the White House. A very warm welcome to World 360. I'm Akanksha Swaroop. First up are the headlines. Russia to deploy tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. The Belarusian president confirms, says the warheads are already on the move. In the Kremlin's first ever deployment of such bombs outside Russia. After Ukraine, Chinese envoy Li Hui meets Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Moscow. Can China remain impartial on Russia-Ukraine after deepening trade ties amid surge in trade with Russia? With just one week to go until the United States could hit its credit limit and start defaulting on its debts, credit ratings agency Fitch warns it may downgrade US credit rating, driving up costs. And Sunday will be the first time Turkish voters have ever had to go to the ballot box for a second time to select their next president, majorly to be decided by expats and quick victims. Now, amid the ongoing armed conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin has visited China to meet Chinese President Xi Jinping and Chinese Premier Li Qiang. The visit focuses on strengthening bilateral ties between Moscow and Beijing. Mishustin's visit comes after Russia and China reacted furiously to the group of seven nations' weakened declarations that singled both countries out on a range of issues, that including Ukraine. And that's all I have for you in this special edition of World 360. Thank you so much for watching. News and updates continue on CNN News 8.